Let's go, Arkansas fans. You have seen it all. Like, legit, every last little thing as a Razorback fan. Uh, outside of, of course, winning. Huh? 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 Come on now, dog. Come on, man. You've won some. It's just a joke. But the truth is, I don't think I remember an SEC wide receiver who is 29 years old. And that's what we have here with Monty Harrison. Man, look at him. That is insane, bro. Insane. So, for those that don't know, he played baseball uh, professionally, and that was him wide open. I will say, this is uh, the third string, right? This third string quarterback, KJ Jackson, right here. And uh, there's Charlie Collins. I'm hoping big things for him next year. And as you can see, he's going up against a, a walk-on DB. But Monty Harrison has made a few different plays. And look, uh, it, it's it's been somewhat impressive. And even here, once again, going up against backup walk-on kind of player, uh, looks like he had a step right here. So is this really a thing? Maybe. I will say this Arkansas wide receiver room is crowded. On the other end, though, it's also very unproven. So this could be a room that he, you know, quickly moves up the depth chart. I think really the only bona fide playmaker in this Arkansas wide receiver room is Andrew Armstrong. I think everyone else still has kind of a question mark as a potential 40 catch explosive type of weapon. So Monty Harrison does have a shot. Now, since we're talking about wide receivers, we get to the second unit here and you see Broden got that number one now. Uh, can he be something? And that's not Broden. It's uh, that's Jaden Wilson. Who is going to be the backups? This is a guy that I want to see on the field a lot in two tight end sets. Ty Washington, as many of you know, uh, was one of the better SEC tight ends per pro football focus's own metrics. Okay. But you see here, he's trying to force him the ball. And this is easily picked off. Now, I want to get it's cut off here. And if you watch our first uh, practice breakdown, it's floating in the top right corner of your screen. Remember, a few practices ago, the linebacker who was playing right here, it's not the same guy, he actually tripped and fell. And uh, Malachi Singleton hit a, a deep vertical here to the tight end all right, on this same exact play. But this time, you see what happens when you don't fall? You pick it off. And if you're Malachi Singleton, you can't predetermine where you're going with the football. That was Miguel Mitchell on the pick. You know, one thing, uh, the second team offensive line looks like it's doing pretty well uh, against this uh, second team defense. That's so a good throw. Quickly, it's kind of hard for me to see who the receiver was there. But now we get to the starters, all right? Luke Haas, we know he's big time. Uh, Lena Jackson. I mean, this Arkansas first unit defense the secondary, I, I don't know how I feel about single uh, Singletary starting uh, next year. I think they are just mixing and matching. I don't know if he's going to actually be the starter here. But shout out to Hog Sports, Trey Biddy and the crew. They crush it. Uh, you see that they are running, uh, you know, a bunch of inbreakers here. Okay, and it starts off uh, with the vertical here and... 17 is running a whip route to the inside, and 22 is running a Texas route, the angle route, right? If you've ever played football video games, you know that this play is hard to stop. It's always an easy throw. It can work versus zone and man. And what else is interesting is 17 also got open in this window. Bang. Okay? But this is where you want to go with the football, and that is really, really, really good stuff. And this will be the key to the Taylor Green offense. Now, every Monday, we are doing live streams for the Hogs, 5 p.m., okay? And I gave my Taylor Green stat projections. I am very interested to see his passing yard totals being so low set by the experts in Vegas. If you want to see what those totals are, it's flowing in the top right corner of your screen, okay? So, I like to hurry up. Pitch to Jaquindon Jackson, and this is just torn to pieces. Um, safety runs into the box here. Uh, I think that's Danico Slaughter, and it changed the numbers here. 
All right, so Slaughter saw it pretty quickly. And actually, it wasn't Slaughter. Uh, it was a backer coming from the backside. Who is this? This is a hell of a play. Oh, it's uh, number 10, Xavier Sori, who's had an awesome camp. Okay, that's really, really, really good stuff. And now we get to hear C.J. Brown actually makes a really good catch on this play. Love this uh, RPO play action kind of stuff, okay? So he pulls it, all right? He liked his numbers here. This corner is playing so far off. These backers, uh, this is what Bobby wants next year. Simple one we one one read. One read. One read quick throws. Hudson Clark obviously not hitting here. All right, so we get to another practice scrimmage session. I highly implore Arkansas fans to let true freshmen develop because Charlie Collins looks like he's not really going to be a factor this year. Um, you know, there's not been a whole lot of splash plays. And right here, I mean, he is just getting absolutely – like he, he's nowhere close – to the QB here um, on this rush. Now, I will say, as a former pass rusher, when I was an end, I never liked the three tech to be on my side, right? It can sometimes push you a little bit wider, but, you know, it, it's 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 going to be a work in progress here. So maybe he is a later bloomer into this season, but he needs a lot of work. Uh, and, and look, KJ Jackson, it, if – He's your quarterback as a true freshman next year. I mean, you're 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 not in a good spot. So, uh, yeah, let let these guys develop. Here's Charlie Collins again making a play versus a run. He's definitely athletic enough to to, to play the run uh, in year one for Arkansas. Let's see what happens here. It's a little blurry. You know, one thing I'll say from watching Bobby. And I actually do like this because I do notice college quarterbacks avoid the middle of the field. Arkansas has really been repping their quarterbacks throwing to the middle, right? And it it is very uncomfortable throwing over to the middle. And Malachi Singleton's not the tallest QB, so it makes it that much more difficult for him to throw over the middle. This ball location actually isn't all that bad. I probably am not throwing this ball. I don't know if anything else is open just based on the camera angle. But look at where he put it on, on the back shoulder. Just a really good play right here um, by 16, who just had the, the, the pick six. All right. What about Rashad Dabinion? Someone let me know about Dabinion next year. Coming in as a clear RB2, probably going to get a lot of passing down work. Um, I still think it's going to be such a heavy dose of Jaquindon Jackson. I, I just think, you know, basically he is the best at everything on this team at the running back position. Uh, but we'll, we'll, we'll see. All right. Uh, once again, Malachi Singleton back in. Pretty much the same second unit going up against each other. Let's see. Uh, wow. Dude. <laughs> oh, my God. I, I forgot about this when I watched it uh, initially. It's a good job by uh, whoever filmed this to get this. I can't say this enough. Like, I know a few of you have complained to me about the camera angles on some of this. They are doing the absolute best that they can. Okay? Um Man, this is really good camera work because you, you they didn't get fooled by the play action. And look at this ball right here from Singleton. This is not a good ball at all. But look at Varkis Gums. Holy moly. That is one heck of a catch. Now, we've seen him make some bad drops. But, man, that's that's excellent. Okay, let's see what happens here. All right. This is a welcome to the SEC kind of throw. And there he is again, y'all. Selman Bridges is getting better and better. Okay, let's slow this down. Look at this high pointing the football, timing the jump, getting it at its highest point. The receiver initially beat him to it. And look at him get his hand right on the ball. That is on freaking believably good so before we go through this final practice clip let's throw it back so monty harrison was a class of 2014 recruit let's take a look at the arkansas class of 2014 just so you can know how long ago this was yes that is frank ragnow at the bottom and frank is already 
halfway through to a Pro Football Hall of Fame career. So that lets you know how much older Harrison is versus the competition. Also, big shout out to Bijan Jackson. I was also a big Jared Cornelius fan. But man, this is so cool. I want to share a stat here from Andrew Hutchinson. Obviously, he is my favorite Arkansas beat writer. Uh, I've known Hutch for so long. About UAPB, okay? This is insane how bad of a football team this is. And this is also a crazy stat from Jack as well. 50 new players since their own spring game, okay? Now, we do have a weekly Arkansas live show where you can ask me questions. It could be film-related. It could be anything related. Mondays, 5 p.m., right here on Power Hour SEC. Coming up, I, I'm going to workshop this. I'm talking to a few coaches about this and and and, and all kinds of people. I, I'm actually going to request Sam Pittman to do something really, really, really bold uh, on, on Monday. So I, I, I want to think about it uh, a little bit longer. So we'll, we'll see you then. But that is a really, really, really bad football team. And I go back to last year where Arkansas in Little Rocks uh, opened up versus another really, 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 really bad football team. So let me think on it, but I just wanted to let you know how bad this season opening game could be for Arkansas, even if they do blow them out. It can actually work in reverse. We'll talk about it Monday night, okay? So floating in your face, you see some other fun videos, and we'll talk to you soon. And it's <laughs> power. Out. SEC. Boom. And tonight, we are doing Salmon. Let's go.